Hi, and welcome to Crash Course Cryptozoology. I hope everyone is enjoying their Christmas or whatever holiday you're celebrating right now. I hope you're spending time with family. The holiday season is always good for that. And speaking of the holiday season, it got me thinking, while I did do a Yeti video for my last video, I would also like to examine a piece of alleged Yeti evidence for this video. It is known to be a hoax, so don't get your hopes up for it. Actually, that's why I'd like to examine it and walk you through it today. I think it's important to recognize how something is a hoax, why it is, and be able to recognize some aspects of that fairly clearly. This footage was big in 1996. It was big when it came out and it was still big when it proven to be a hoax, I believe in the early 2000s, maybe a bit before then. It seems to have fallen out of public interest since then though, and I would like to draw it back there because again, I think it's important to look at something that's so blatantly a hoax and know how to recognize it easily. The footage I'm referring to is called the Snow Walker Yeti footage. It was broadcasted on UPN on March 12th, 1996, and it was touted as partially an advertisement for the network's new paranormal show it was putting up. And the footage actually fooled a lot of experts, including the likes of Jeff Meldrum. Now, I respect Jeff Meldrum immensely, but I am going to say that unless the footage quality was a little bit worse than it is now, in which case I could understand why he would make that mistake, I will say that this is pretty obviously a hoax, and why I say that is because I actually viewed this for the first time when I was very young, and I knew right away that it was a hoax, and I'd like to show you why. So to do just that, I am going to play the footage in its entirety, and we're going to take a look at it without any commentary, so that you can really see what it is that we're observing here. And that's the entire piece of footage. You'll notice that it is a stabilized version, which I think is going to help us take a really good look at this. The backstory of the footage is that it was sent in by a couple who claimed they had filmed a Yeti during a hike in the Himalayas. It seems that they're either to the side of the subject or they're a little bit above it, but you could kind of argue for either case, really, since there are actually two different angles taken in the footage. Not too, too long after it made big headlines as a piece of footage that was actually toted as second only to the Patterson Gimlin film, the couple and the network came out and announced that it was actually a hoax. And this baffled a lot of experts because they really thought they had something here. And I think that's due in part to the Bigfoot craze that had been launched in the 60s with the Patterson Gimlin film, well into the 70s and 80s and 90s, of course, and, you know, here we are now. But I do think some things were overlooked that really should not have been overlooked. Keep in mind this was filmed in 1996, or at least it was released then, and if it's a hoax, chances are it was also filmed in 96. The first thing that the subject really seems to do in the footage is it's climbing out of a snow embankment, and it seems buried in it. Now, I don't mean buried as in it's climbing out of a tomb of snow, but I do mean buried as in it seems odd to me that a creature that would live in that habitat would get themselves stuck like that. But animals get stuck all the time, so... I suppose that's just me maybe being a little bit too picky with it. It's obviously an area with a lot of deep snow. I'll grant it that. Now, the second thing it really seems to do is it, it takes a look around. It moves its waist, it moves its arms a little bit, and it moves its head. Now, the head is going to become really important because when you get a better look at the figure, you get to a frame, actually a few frames, and when I saw these, when I first saw this piece of footage, I knew it was a fake. And let me show you why. I think we can all agree that this image from the video is incredibly clear, and even the stabilized version, it's even more clear. And what we're looking at does not look like an ape. The face is very flat, and the reason is because there's no face there. And let me explain that. You'll notice a few things about the figure that really point to it's not covered in hair or fur, so to speak. There is a difference in coloration with the arm than the rest of the body. 
there seems to be no face, but a black splotch is there. And this is the killer detail. There's a frill of white hair or fur around what would be the face. And I think we all know what that's a characteristic of. It's a characteristic of heavy winter coat, which obviously everyone wears when they're climbing the Himalayan mountains. And the lack of face can be attributed to the hood being pulled over the face. We're actually seeing the inside of the hood there. And of course, the arm coloration could be attributed to the coat color itself. So already, I would say this is clearly not an ape or an ape-like creature. You could argue, well, some primates have frills like that. Fair enough. Show me an ape that does. That's a different story. And maybe an ape could. But since this is a hoax, it's been publicly announced as a hoax, in fact, I think that's what we're looking at here. We're looking at someone wearing a heavy winter coat trying to fool us. Now, right after that shot, we get to the next shot, which seems to be more from a uh, behind view of the subject. And we see it climb out of the embankment, and it stands up. And the first thing that I can see that would fool some people is the conical head. I'll admit, there's a conical shape to the head, and that's a characteristic of great apes and also many Sasquatch and Yeti sightings. Fair enough. But it's also a characteristic of a hood that's pretty big being pulled over someone's head. Another thing that I noticed is when the creature starts walking, you actually see the length of its arms. And I'll admit, the arms look very long. This is very thought through. In fact, they stretch down to what appeared to be the knees. But one thing you'll notice about the arms, especially in this frame here, it's not really that the arm is proportionately long. It's that the forearm is very long. And on a creature, the arm should be proportional to itself, especially if it's a primate. So what I think we're looking at here are arm extensions of some kind. And again, this didn't really require tons of detail. You don't really see fingers or anything like that. So an arm extension would not be hard to pull off like this. The elbow is just a little bit too high up that arm for me. And coupled with the idea that we just saw it wearing a hood, really, there's no face because the face is inside a hood, and now we're seeing arms that don't look right, this all points to it being a hoax, and lo and behold, it's a hoax. Most likely someone wearing some maybe crude arm extensions and a big winter coat. I hope everyone enjoyed this look at the Snowwalker Yeti footage. It's fooled a lot of people, and it almost fooled me when I was younger, but I was observant enough to be able to look at those details and know that it was a hoax. And I hope that this opens up the doors for people to be a little more observant as well, because it's all well and good to have an open mind, believe me. But you should have it open enough to recognize when something isn't real. I hope everyone enjoys their holidays. And that being said, until next time.